First animal in Africa. Great job, honey. Thank you. I'm not as calm as my wife. <laughs> my heart's racing. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm sitting here trying to make this shot and both legs start cramping. It's all I can do to sit still. Black, common, and then a white one. Yeah. So great job, Rick. Thank great job, dude. Well done, man. Thank you. It's a good time. It's a good time. I'd suggest it to anybody. There you go, Tim. There's your rifle that you're going to be using on this trip. Awesome. 300 Winchester. Um, welcome back, my friend. Thank you, man. It's nice to see you again in Lorry. Good for yes, It's you. wonderful to have you again. You know, we had your boys here last time and yeah. we had a lot of fun. Yeah, our new tradition. They love it. Well, let's just do what we did last time and have a lot of fun. And we'll We're going to have a lot of fun. We'll have a target on the right. We shouldn't need much more than this. about four inches high. As I said, it is a clean barrel there. I'm going to lower this a bit. And now you can rest more on my shoulder. Oh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, now, now you understand what I'm saying about yeah. relaxing and you can put your arm. And then when I'm just in that area, yeah. go ahead and go. Okay, Don't go. wait for it to be still. Let's take a walk over there. <laughs> okay. And the bench you can aim for as long as you like. You've got a dead rest. And the sticks, you need to do what you do. Okay. That, that's your, that's your bull right? Bag. From your husband. From Yay! Your husband. And we can, and, and ours, are, ours are off the shooting cage and yours is off the tall shooting stick. That's perfect. Let's bring this. Tim, thank you for all the support and long may it last and many more adventures. Welcome. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome. I'm not seeing any impala right on the top of the bank so we normally see them and usually there, there's five could have bulls there that we've just seen but um, I think with this wind coming up let's move down into these valleys okay. down here um, I know there's quite a big population of bachelor rams that hang down there in Lorry and okay. perhaps we we'll, can sneak up on one there and <laughs> get a good shot at it. Sounds like a plan. So yeah we'll just move down there. <laughs> So, a lot of times you that spooks the animals get in front where they've got this grass, we call it quick, which grows in the polar lock feeding on that. So we'll walk down and see if we can get onto a ram there. Perfect.
250 yards at the moment. I can see some females in here, young male. Laurie, let's have a look and see if we can see a trophy there. And if not, if we see a management back, I think to you. When he's standing nicely, let's try for him. Okay. So this widens our options here, so. Yeah, that's the general direction where they're at, so. Let's go. It's, it's only 200 yards there. Wonderful shot that he went straight down, man. Straight down. Just put the safety back on. There you, you got settled in, mm -hmm. and took your time, but you didn't take all the time yeah. because the longer you spend on the sticks, the more you move. And, yeah. I mean, look at and I didn't want him to run. Yeah, I know. It was lovely. Out there. <laughs> yeah, lovely. enough of that today. <laughs> there we go. Well done, Mr. Rain Water. Thanks. Well, my second time here at John X uh, with Greg. And uh, and my wife's first time coming, yes. uh, so and this is uh, the very first day, the second safari, and we decided we want to go get uh, Impala uh, for Lori today, and yes. it turned out to be quite an adventure. It was, uh, yes. <laughs> you know the intel wasn't spot on first thing, and uh, so we searched and searched and searched, and finally, Greg says, "Hey, we'll go to the we'll go to this killing spot." So we went. It, <laughs> we found we found a big group. Uh, of, uh, of female impalas and yes. and had a couple rams in them and and uh, that was a little difficult and then yeah. we then we found a group of bachelors that we chased I think two or three different times I guess you could call it all one chase but it really it really was two or three different ones and uh, in the last part of it uh, coming down the side of a draw uh, something crashed and Greg jumps and looks and I'm like oh it must just be a kudu and then all of a sudden I see it's a buffalo. Is actually two buffalo, so that was pretty cool. It was we, fun. Probably 30, 40 yards from us, and so elevated the heart rate a little bit. Yeah. So, but uh, but but great fun, and and yeah, uh, we saw a lot of animals today. They were all beautiful. Yep, yeah, yep. So, but anyway, we weren't able to get it, so we went home or back to the lodge, got some lunch and a nap, and came back, and she was able to put it we on the spot, it. and 168 yards, she dropped it. <laughs> right where Greg told me to. Put it right where she put it right where we said. And, <laughs> Animal fell, yeah. and uh, first animal in Africa, first animals uh, ever. Yeah. So great job, honey. Thank you. Okay, Laurie. So this is a tradition. Yeah, your first animal in in South Africa for Africa. <laughs> well, I didn't, but well done for being a sport. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. stuff the little valley at the back that they could be in. Okay. Uh, which is quite sheltered but I first want to just check off these ledges so the ones are perfect for that. We're gonna just check off the ledges. Gonna keep below this ridge. Yeah. The one's gonna be perfect. And we use those. It's quite open. They actually. I was hoping we'd get them lower down, but they're actually standing right in the wind. So we'll come around, use that ticket over there, and then sneak up. But it's, it's gonna be tricky. We're just gonna take a time because there are a lot of animals there. Yeah.
154 yards of you. I just saw the back of a black one. I don't know which way you know if it's one of the big ones or not. It's holding us up now. He's close to the house. Down, we can just go around and get to that bush there. Then we might have a shot across that way. You see those two? Look through the gap. Those two are feeding, okay? To the left of them, there's a black one just behind. You hit him, reload, reload. I'll just lift your rifle, please. Man, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. Well, that was a lot of fun. Let's talk about it. Two hours. Woo, woo. Oh. I don't know how long the stock is. I think it's lunchtime. Well, them sparring, I wanted to, as soon as he was at shoulder was there, I wanted to take it. Well done, Tim. How was it? That's awesome. I'm not as calm as my wife. My heart's racing. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, four. Four. One fifty-four. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. That was fun. Nice old ram yeah. too. Wow. Tim, well done, man. Sweet. Thank you, thank you. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. That is quite cool. Oh, it's amazing how black they are. Yeah. It's got heavy bases, too. Look at that. Wow. It's a good, very good shot, Tim. Well, What's I your... helped his buddy out. They were sparring. You know, so all three of those, Tim, they were good rams. Yeah. Um, we would have been happy with any of those. The other ones were a little bit wider, but this one had the longest points, and he was the heaviest. Yeah. Yeah. And as you can see, like I was explaining earlier, you nice don't want them that and that's actually got secondary growth. It's from that. age. So Very wonderful cool. animal. Very cool. Great shot. Yeah, look and at that. that. Right there. Spot them from over a thousand yards, and when she closes the distance to you. What you did was really, very really good. Very cool. What are we, like 150, you said? Yeah. 154? 150, yeah, 154. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well done again, man. Thank you. Thank you. Well Great done. job. Great job. Thank you, G. Well, Tim. Yeah? There we are with your great Impala. You know, this is your second trip. and um, Second trip? I remember the first time? First time. <laughs> we saw yeah. a wonderful ram, and we weren't hunting them yet. We didn't have any on quota. And this is two years later, and... Um, Came out yesterday, you hadn't actually mentioned a black impala and we saw that other younger ram yeah. with the ones we were hunting lorry and we said, well, why don't we try and go for one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spotted that one yesterday with lorry and said, yeah, I think I think that's back on the menu. And uh, so we, we started off this morning yep. looking for one and uh, Bless, Bless located a couple of them uh, early on, just a uh, long ways away. Yeah, they were about, I don't know. <laughs> Definitely over a thousand yards yeah. away in difficult terrain and yeah. we're very lucky with this wind that they fed back into the valley and we yeah. two hours stalk but we got it. Yeah, it was two hours stalk, a little bit of wait in, in the shadows to you know avoid the water buck and yeah. the, the, the spying eyes, but uh, it worked out really well. Well the great thing as well, you know, yesterday Laurie, your wife made a perfect shot on the impala. So yeah. You know, you Pressure had to was on. keep it going and <laughs> you placed the bullet in almost the exact same spot as Laurie did. So, yeah, yeah, that yeah. was a great shot. Sir. Yeah, thank you very well much. Done, buddy. Enjoyed it. Thank great you. Great animal. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Bless. G, appreciate it. All right, well, morning, guys. This is our. Uh, Third morning of the safari and we're going to be moving on up to the crew 
just so epic in every Tim you've been there. Yep, yep, very nice place. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Not you will like it at least in the mountains, but the area adjoining Glen Harry, the neighboring property, we're gonna stop off there and, and some spring back. See how we go for the day. Uh, so it looked at the weather, it's gonna be over 80 degrees. We we're supposed to be having cool weather today, but anyway. So let's just go and we need to get there and see yeah. what we can do. Yeah, there's some fun. Alright, sounds good, let's go. On this edge of this bush line here, yeah, sometimes it's bring back like feeding the, the common ones and black ones here. Yeah. So we'll walk down into the wind mm -hmm. and see what we see. If we don't see anything, then we're just going to go over the side of the hill and check in this back little door there. Okay. If not, we'll make another plan. Yep. So I just found out what squares means. <laughs> it means let's go have a peek. Awesome. Have a look. We've been wondering. <laughs> well done, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just keeping my eye on that spot because when I fall in this grass, let's just walk straight like this. Okay. Um, and then we'll go. This one, you know, he's a good ram, you know. You find the old mature ram like this by itself. And <laughs> well done, thank you, thank you. Oh, nice old ram, too. Yeah? Look at that, look at that, lad. Well, Check it out, he's got a nice long post. That's beautiful. Walking in, great shot there. <laughs> well done. All right. Now, on the black springback, they're never pure black. They're right. always, but quite interestingly, the, the, the females are black. A lot black. of times are pitch black when the males are white. Wow. Face. But you'll yeah. see, you can see he's got a lot of base, a lot of character on him. He's totally hard all yeah. the way to the bottom. Well done. Man. It's totally different than the, um, the black uh, Impala. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very cool, though. Very cool. The, the springbok is actually our national animal, um, but it's the common one that's our national animal. Okay. So, and yeah. then there's five different colors. No, the different colors you get the common one, the black one, um, the copper one, and the white one. Okay. Those are the color variation. And then of the then then you got a Kalahari springbok, which is the same color as the common. Okay. It's just a much bigger springbok. Okay. The formation of the horns and how they grow and age, it's all the same. It's just a much bigger animal. Okay. So uh, today, day three, the safari, we're uh, headed up to the Karoo, and uh, we're going to start on the springbok slam. And uh, I mean, probably 15, 20 minutes after being here, Greg puts us on a, uh, a nice old uh, black ram. And uh, so I decided, since this was so quick, I'm going to give him a warning shot. And uh, so I shot one way over his head. He didn't even seem to care. So I said, well, then we're going to go ahead and finish him off. And took him down with the next shot. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, it was fun. Uh, had a great time. And uh, let's go look for some other spring bucks. Let's go have a look at that, at that ram. Yeah. He looks like a mature male, but I haven't seen him properly. He's quite odd with this mirage. Okay, so there's a cache I think it's yeah. 
Yeah, okay. Um, and then say, look, look, if he's not quite what I think we can get you, we're going to leave him, but let's just take this chance. Okay, now. let's do it. down in the plane, found it 13 miles from the bachelor with two black ones, 11 common ones, but where they are now, no point, no point in trying. Good shot. Can you load? The head's still up a bit. Beautiful man. Well. Wow. Yeah, the wind of it at that distance. Check it, check it out. Yes. Yeah, look, look at that. that. That is a beautiful, beautiful common man. Wow. Yeah, we have a common springbuck. As I was saying earlier this morning, these are national animals and this yeah. is the actual national animal. Right, the common one. Yeah, the Very common nice. one. Beautiful. As I was explaining to you this morning after you shot the black one, I said, they go up in stages, the commons are normally a little bit bigger than the blacks, as you can yeah, see. Yeah, definitely bigger. Definitely bigger. Uh, the Kalahari now is the same color as this, but it will be bigger. Bigger. And then the white springback is um, Small, the smallest of the lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, comet, the copper could be similar to this, but as far as for a, a Karoo common springback, this is a real, real, real beautiful. Very cool. It's nice. Very happy, guys. Yeah, that is a great Another shot. good job yeah. after a 10 mile trek. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a little 10 mile squeezy. Exactly. <laughs> just over 200 yards, and you know, to shoot these things with those small, I mean, tall shooting sticks is. is so well done, man. Thank you, thank you. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Thanks. So, Tim, we spotted a group of white springback yeah. mixed with commons. Uh, they're about over a thousand yards away. I had a look with the spotting scope. They looked up to be a very nice white ram with decent horns. We're going to go up. We're just going to have to watch this one day again, obviously. But as we were coming through here, I noticed another two above it, so there could be more males up yeah. there. Okay. Yeah, but we'll see if we're not just stay in this old little creek. See what happens. Okay. Life. You hit him hard. I hit him hard. Full on cramp, both legs. <laughs> we just got the white one. Walked so much today. Good old Greg. <laughs> but he did a great job putting me on him. But I'm sitting here trying to make this shot and both legs start cramping. It's all I can do to sit still. I tell oh, you, you they're did, still cramping, by the way. You did oh. well, well done. <laughs> I mean, oh. we, we've walked over eight miles today. And not in flat yeah. ground, it's up on these hills and... But, yeah, but, but what a time, easy. I mean, 
black common and then a white one. Yeah. So great job, Greg. Thank great you. job there. Well done, man. Thank you, thank you. Gee, thanks for keeping up with us. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice watch back there. Well done in his watch. Look at there. Well, well done, Tim. You know, we wanted to get all three of our spring back here today. And uh, as you saw, we got the black one this morning in the common. And then uh, we came out this afternoon. We were driving up the road. And bless, as well, bless there. He spotted the uh, spring back up on the hill. And we did a stalk. Um, as you saw earlier in the video, that. Tim was getting a little bit of cramp this morning <laughs> yeah. we were walking, but yeah, we managed to get within 100 yards of these Springback 11 Rams, and we picked this nice old Ram, and yeah, yeah, we have it. Yes, sir, that was good. It was fun, except for the cramping. It was a great day. <laughs> yeah, and thanks to everybody that was here. Uh, Greg, thanks for putting us on them. We tried on that first bunch and just couldn't get on them, but uh, brought us to another place, a uh, honey hole. Yep. And. Uh, Right here, Bless saw him right away. Thank you, Bless. Yes. And uh, and then we got on him and and uh, you know, G G and Greg, thanks for not laughing too hard as I <laughs> as I cramped and walked 100 yards with cramps. So, but uh, but it was all worth it. It's all worth it. And uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. And thank you, Lori, for coming out and being with us on it. So. And yeah, thanks to Bless for doing all the skidding. You know, it's a big help yeah. to us, which allows us to go out again and carry on hunting. So thanks, yeah. Bless. Thank you, Bless. Always. Always great. Hungry. Thanks, guys. Okay, guys, yo, finally we've arrived up at Glen Harry up in the Karoo. It was a, just, a, just short of a three hour trip from Woodlands. Um, it's quite hot here today, so I think let's get our stuff settled into our cabins. Very nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tim, at least we, it looks like we've got a bit of cloud cover today and we're not going to have to hunt in 100 degree heat like we were yesterday. It's going to be nice, nice yeah, break. It's going to be nice. Yeah. Where we're going to is sort of high up in the mountains, so generally the it is a bit cooler too. Um, but I think we're going to try for that copper spring back first. Okay. It's about half an hour from here still that we need to travel. Oh, we'll go have a look at the coppers and see how we do there. Then once we've done that, we'll go pick out a nice Kalahari. See how we do that. Yeah, sounds like a good idea.
Good morning here from uh, beautiful Karoo. Uh, team John X and Greg and Bless and G uh, brought us out to this beautiful ranch uh, to shoot some uh, copper uh, spring buck. And uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun. This, this guy gave us a little bit of a, a work uh, at him and tried to get him at, I think it was 750, that guy, 750. Um, and we had the windage a little wrong, but uh, <laughs> but he still presented. He came right back to us, and I don't know, he's probably 100 yards or less maybe when we shot him. But uh, anyway, it was a great, great fun, and uh, I think we're off to try and find a Kalahari. So thank you again, guys. Appreciate it all. Tim. Thank you, Greg. You got a great killer or you ram, yeah. Yeah, um, this thing's huge. It is. You know, this is the biggest of the springbok species you get down here in southern Africa. Uh, very fortunate to hunt one of these. It's a beautiful animal and it completes your collection of springbok. Yeah, we got the springbok slam this week. Yep. Got her done. You got all the color variations and then including a, this beautiful killer or ram and uh, well done, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, uh, Neil. <laughs> Thank you, G, for all the great camera work, the shots. Thanks to Bless, who's still back skinning the last one. Skinning the copper <laughs> one, yeah. Skinning the copper one. And thanks, Carl, for uh, setting all this stuff up. Thanks, John X. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw Well, we just had a nice cup of coffee at the little country store there. Yep. And uh, we've got about another about a 50 minute drive back down to Woodland. It looks like we're going to have some drizzle up ahead, but this intermittent shower is going to be raining all day. So. Oh, we're back home. I'm going to say home, back to the home base now at Woodland. We had quite a nice trip down. And, uh, we'll go get everything settled in again and then give Bless a chance to upload all the trophies, get the stuff back into the salt, salt everything, resalt the skins, and then we'll go out this afternoon.
you see that one to the right of the black one? Yeah. I think that's a coal. Okay. Yeah, yeah. See how he sat down slowly. He just went boom, yeah. Like the baboon opening a rock for a snake. Yep. Something very similar to that. Well done, that is. <laughs> nice shot. Sure. I think it was about 80 yards or so. 77 yards. 77 yards, okay. Dude, what a great shot. There we go. Woo! See that? So, he's mature. Yeah. But he was a little bit soft on the bottom, but he was never ever going to grow into anything. So yeah, yeah. That's part of management. Mm -hmm. um, he, he's solid on the bottom, but I mean, he's just he's just missing the length. But that was a great shot. You can imagine. Yeah. Beautiful flat skin. Beautiful and skin. And actually, with that shot, there's no holes in the. No holes. Yeah. No holes. Well done, wow. Man. Very good.
Here we are at the end of our uh, second safari here with John X and, um, and Greg. <laughs> Greg's been our, our PH uh, both times. It's been great. Last, last trip we came, uh, my boys Austin and Connor came with me and we had a great time. And uh, this year, um, my lovely wife Lori came with us and uh, I'll let her, you know, talk about her stuff. But it was really enjoyable having her here. And, um, and the other guys brought, brought their wives, you know, so, so we, had a, we had a really good time and, and saw a bunch of neat stuff. Did different things this year than we did last year as well. So um, I, I really enjoyed it. What did you, what'd you yes, think? Yes, we did a game drive yesterday. That was beautiful. We saw rhinoceros and elephants and giraffes. And buffalo it was beautiful. And um, we also got to do a cheetah trail, which was a lot of fun. And then just um, visiting the school was amazing. That was a really amazing experience seeing the school. So it was a great time. The accommodations are wonderful and the food is phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was a pleasure getting to meet you, Laurie, and Thank I hope you. we can spend time again together. Tim. We'll be um, back. It's great hunting with you once yeah. again. Yeah. I remember on our first safari, uh, you know, we had an excellent time with your, with your two boys. On in Austin, it was great. This time it was just as much fun having Laurie around. <laughs> Guys, for more information on a wonderful safari like this with John X Safaris, contact us here in Texas at Rockwater Ranch um, and uh, we'll line you up. Thank you, Greg. Cheers, my man. <laughs>